Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome to the class of industrial plant genomics. Today also uh, we are continuing the network, the laboratory network based on um, trans element conservation. No, trans element binding site um, conservation. So maybe this is too hypothesis based, but this is very interesting. Okay. Let me open Let me open the Jupyter. Jupyter. Low look. <coughs> so I opened um to Python Lab environment. It is so slow, I don't know why. Mm. Okay. So. So last week, what we made was um, this network. Uh, the reason why it become in this way is that um, we increased the filter, right? So we increased the filter. So So this threshold, so uh, before we made the threshold like a 0 0.5, but we made um, we made the threshold 0 0.2 here. So th that's why it increased many pairs. So we saved the, the, pair, uh, the pairs um, in the name of um, shared promoter pairs significantly filtered by um, a as well will say yes. Um, filter by annotation similarity. Okay, so version one, we made version one, and so we load the version one. This is so slow. Okay. Hold on. Hello. Load, head, 
So we have many pairs, and we can sh check the pair with shape. So we have 691 pairs, and the information is we have 11 information. So this is the thing. So we have annotation and similarity, and we can see these two are different. The different um, genes actually sharing sharing the the blocks, the promoter blocks, right? And so we are loading the keys. So this uh, bios. The bio, what is the bio? The bio is the, <coughs> the annotation. So annotation is the bio. And this pair, these pairs, and we label it. So what is label? So label is the, when you have things like this, one and two, and three and four. So this is all pairs. But if you, when you label it, so after label, after label it, then you will have one, two, three, four. So actually, what label do is flatten, flatten the matrix. So this is a matrix, and this is a vector. So matrix become vector. Okay. So we have many keys. You can see everything is flattened, not in pair, pair way. Okay, by use, we'll parse um, the annotations. This also labeled, right? So this also labeled. And we made the dictionary based on the key and by you. Okay. And we're going to make node. Okay, we're gonna make edges. So what is node? Node is the element. Okay, node is the element. It's the same as the key. What is the edge? What is the edge? Edges are pairs. So when we search the network, um, that's the network and see the images. Then we can see many graph. So this is network graph. For example. So maybe this is the it looks like a corona spreading um, network. So one guy is not the other guy also not not but the interaction. So maybe he met him or he meet him or he visits some place and he automatically uh, interact with many people, right? Then you can draw the line, draw the line uh, that he is interacted or interacting or just pass by, right? Then you can name it this is edge and node okay so this person is a node and this person is a node and the interaction interaction is edge okay so so we made edge in this way so this is element one element right so this interaction will be edge so we are loading uh, this node and edges. So first of all, we are making graph class, and we add node and edges, and we will select the node. So what is the criteria of a selection? The degree. So when when you copy this degree, then you will see the numbers. So this node have this number, this node and this number, and this node has this number. So what is the node? So let me go back to the corona um, picture. 
So this guy only have four interaction, right? And this guy only have two interaction, and this guy three interaction, and this guy uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is most important people, or this is most uh, contagious people um, who interact many nodes. So this number, the number of interaction is degree. So we can load the degree. So we are actually um, list up, list up uh, where the degree is uh, higher than one. Okay. So you can see um, for x and y. So for x and y and x, you will return x if y is higher than 1, right? Okay, so then you, your selected node will be 250, okay, 250. Originally it was 691. Now your selected node is 250. And let me make um, some kind of description. Description. Um, I don't know why this is necessary, but okay. And we can make a subgraph. Subgraph. So you can, so now you have a selected node, 250 selected node. And if you supply this selected node variable into subgraph method, then you can limit your graph only using this node, okay? So, Raj, so this capital G have everything. And this G sub, this G sub, have only selected nodes, okay? So, um, this is the dictionary, that's dictionary that we made here. So if you are interested in certain node, then you can bring back, bring back. Uh, not defined, I didn't enter. So bring it back so you can degree Uh -uh. This is weird. Ah. Okay. Uh, this is because uh, we limit our the nodes that has only one degree. So, for example, this guy have just one degree, right? This guy only has one degree. So we remove it, and we remove it, remove it. So we remove and remove, then this guy only have just two degree, right? So if we are limit the degree, then it happens in this way. This is not that important. And we can load dictionary description. And okay, oxygen response protein, sour like. So we can um, retrieve the description. Okay, let's make, let's make um, the network. So this was the network we made, and hold on. Okay. So now you can see the um, very big guys. 
highly clustered with regard to the network. And let me grab the degree. So we can increase the degree five and how many? Thirty three. So now uh, we have hubs. So truncated transcription factor, cauliflower A like, is highly interacting with zinc one. Interesting. And This nutsilis protein homologue is highly interacting with suga transposon. No, suga transporto. Suga transporto. And ubiquitino oxidase is interacting with cusp protein. So, interaction means not protein protein interaction, it's interacting. Um, in the way sharing trans element. Mm -mm. Okay, but I don't think this is good um, because we are losing too many things. Mm. And I will remove this one and merge it. Okay, so whenever you change this bio, then you will see the network. So many stuffs are here. Okay. So um, in a network X, there is algorithm that that de detect the communities. So what is the communities? So maybe we can sh um, search network community. Then we will find some um, information. So there is many community. Hold on, maybe we will see the Facebook network. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, anyway, uh, there is um, many researches um, on the network of Facebook. So, so Gepai. So Gepai is very popular popular software, which is similar with Cytoscape, but it takes um, large data. Cytoscape cannot handle the large data, but Gepai can handle large data based on the GPU. Okay. 
I do want to see everyone, every slide, but oh, okay, this is the result of them. So if you learn certain algorithm, then it will detect you for you certain colors, right? So these colors are community. Uh, so this uh, dense network become in this way because the certain algorithm can detect certain um, community which is very um, which have very similar profile of the interactions. So maybe one node and it will jump to another node and profile how many degrees or how many interaction partners or or so the the shortest path there is a, a concept the shortest path so if you select this one and this node and that node then what is the shortest path to get there so maybe you can profile a certain node using that shortest path algorithm so there's many algorithm uh, people already made so if you learn this algorithm then you can label the node with these colors. Okay, I don't want to see every slide of him. So in Network X, there is a uh, um, many community finding um, algorithm. So I will, I want to, I want to use one algorithm that is um, maybe. Click, click algorithm or modular base algorithm. Club, <sighs> community, given new month. She. This is weird. Mm. Hold on. So I found a better API documentation of network text. Okay, I will use this one. Okay. Mm. Let me see. This community one. And let's go to his um, code. Okay, so Robin, Robin community detection algorithm. So let me install, let me install his algorithm here. Terminal. No. Okay, we have now Robin Python and we can load um, his, his community stop import community import community Okay, it works, no problem Okay, so here making uh, something weird network here using G. We already have G, so I don't want to make another G. So let me copy it. And community best partition. So he made the method best partition. So I don't need to care about many stops with regard to the um, algorithms. 
if you want to study algorithms, then um, you can dig around the network X algorithm. Okay, and drawing. So I will copy this one and see what happened. See what happened. Partition values, position, spring layout, count. Mm -mm, okay. None. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so what we made was that um, what we made was that Grabby's layout. So he made a spring layout. So this is why this um, is a bit deeper. So let me copy our Grabby's layout. Here and G and remove and see what happened. Okay, so this is so interesting, right? So th this is the color, the, the color scheme of um, the color scheme is based on the uh, partition. So, um, what is the node color? The color is number of the, the, the count and size based on the count and size. So, what is the count? Count is uh, uh, the count is the partition. I, I want to open the partition. So, actually, what I'm thinking that partition is the Community, I think. I think this is community. So each community, so partition values, values, mm -mm. partition values will be the community label and the list node is partition node is com so com is this value so this value if this value is same as com node hold on node key so nodes coming from this key and Ah, okay, okay. So, actually, it is retrieving. Okay, this is actually retrieving the this number. So, if you set everything, set everything, set everything, you will have unique number of these partitions. So, it looks like it has one hundred fifty four partitions. So, first partition goes to com. So, it is list all the nodes. It well, what we have all the node has this partition number. Okay, so first one gonna be zero, and it retrieve every node which has zero, and it uh, it draw node. So only nodes that has uh, this partition. Okay, and the the color the color will be determined by the count and size so first one will be the count is one and the size the size is coming from i don't know where is the size so okay the size is this one okay the size so you will you will um hmm. you will count every partitions and you divide it uh, by the count. Okay, so this is how they label uh, the partitions 
um, uh, with colors. Mm -mm. But the problem is, what I'm thinking is that um, mm, this color, this color is just um, representation of the order. So I don't want to stress um, the order of our, let's say, partition. I just, I, what I want is, um, what I want to do is stress the size of the partition. So, how do you do it? So, the list node. So, it will count the list node. So, let me copy this list node to here. And length. And and the size would be I will remove this one. Oh no, it's not good. I don't know why it. Oh no. So I'm dividing. The number of nodes. Number of nodes. So, okay, let me count. Let me calculate the value. So, okay. So, uh huh. These are all similar. That's why it doesn't give us very good estimation. What is the... Mm -mm. So what would it be good to label it? Mm. maximum value okay then I will mm, from collection import counter counter and you will see no ah okay values then you can see the maximum value of our counts. So largest one has 40, 45. Okay, 45. Then size will be 45. Okay, then it looks a bit different, a bit different as before. So this so the so largest largest community become more lighter. But I don't want to um use this scheme to have it. Um so this color Is in this way, but I don't know why it give us just gray color scheme. Let me check network X and C map, color map. Okay, color map. This is how you map the color. Okay, you can add <coughs> color map in this way. Import matplotlib high plot 
Maybe we can remove. No, no. Tuple index is out of range. What does that mean? I think this is because we did made everything with array. Come on. Hold on. So I found something is weird um, in the in the network X. Um, so what I try to uh, is that so we before we made in this way, but I want to draw every node after the finishing the for loop. So then I have to have every node, so nodes, or nodes, two. So, and then all nodes will be list nodes, right? And color. List and I will append this one. List. Okay. Then add all nodes and color list. I hope this works. I hope this will work. Okay. Ah, all nodes, all nodes is not one. All nodes. Okay, so it works. So I want to change the color scheme in my way. Okay, so largest one we can see uh, in more intense. <coughs> Mana, right? Oh, this is good. I want to set the figure larger than before, larger like before. And do we need the size? No, we don't need the size. I will remove it. And this spring color also, I will remove. 
and count our name of so beautiful seriously beautiful so I want to retrieve this largest one I want to retrieve the largest one um, partition Um, and values and counter all right and maximum one is no dict I will change this into dictionary temporary variable dict and and what is the maximum index dictionary maximum index numpy uh, argmax r argmax does it work no it it do not work list change it list okay 17 index is maximum so what is the 17 in partition values count dict keys is 17 no list I don't know why they made the dictionary. Um, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 17. Ah, ah, this is ah, okay. So it was uh, very well ordered. So I just need have this index. Okay, so 17. 17 is the maximum maximum partition okay so we know 17 okay so let's see the partition so 17 17 these guys are most connected one okay for x and y y X Y equal I X items Okay, these guys are all seventeen um member. Okay, member 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 seventeen. I will label like this and G and subgraph of members member 17 G sub and I will copy our original graph here and it will use I don't like my code where is my sub dictionary ah okay so Ah, okay. So I can make it this way. Member 17. Remove. Member 17. <sighs> Let me see the what 
happen here? Or cusp. Interaction. So let me see the description of cusp. Well, I don't know actually what is cusp like a protein. And cusp protein. Uni mm -mm -mm. protein. There is so many cusps though. Cusp like a protein. So we have um, description of the cusp one. So what is cusp regulations, membrane, server junction, and localized server deposition? So required for the establishment of the Kasparian strip membrane domain. What is the Kasparian strip membrane? And the subsequent formation of Kasparian strip, a server modification of root endodermis that determine an apoplastic barrier between Intraorganismal apoplasm and extraorganismal apoplasm and prevent the lateral diffusion. Difficult. Mm -mm. Expression atlas baseline difference. I hope there is certain clue that we can explain the network expression atlas. Mm -mm. I hate this um, database. It's completely, completely not necessary. This way of visualization. So they should provide a certain co-expression um, of these genes. Is that right? So they already have certain cluster of the expression. Then they have to show us the query expression like this, as well as the neighbors. But they just show the stupid um, visualization. Uh, completely not necessary. Uh, useless, I mean. Mm. I do not know how to. Ah, okay. So we have database of protein protein interaction network. Let's see. Let's see what we can actually retrieve. This is slow. Okay, so this is the AT eighty two G. Eighty two G. AI one we will use submit. Ah, 
nothing is happening. Two. Two. Submit. Okay. We have cusp. We have cusp. Don't go. Don't. Please do not go. And we can turn on the symbol. Cusp is highly actually this is this is one thing. So this cusp is a highly connected um, protein actually. So with regard to the PPI also, and what we have, we have um, interaction with sour and some disease resistance protein and some thioredoxin like and the majority was uncharacterized so all methyl transferase also F box ubiquitinol oxidase and so on and it will give us I uh, know It's highly difficult to determine the idea. I don't have any idea. Anyway, okay. So let me use Aranet too. So Aranet is also network based. Um, so. So that is is network or not? This is not PPI. So this use co-expression. So we can determine what kind of um, genes are co-expressed or what kind of genes are um, uh, expressed or conserved or physically um, located, physically closely lo located. So uh, this is based on the Aranet two. Uh, Professor Yi In Seok in Nansen University pro published this paper. So if you are interested in uh, this network, then you can go to his publication and read it. So he he also say that um, so called functional gene network. So then which means he have to impulse or some kind of co functional, right? So usually it it is coming from expression. So I will say this is kind of in, in, uh, expression. So let me turn on the um, symbol. So it interacts cusp also. There is cusp, cusp four, and plagella. Okay. Yeah. In cusp two, so this so we can we can infer um, cusp series. The cusp gene family is interacting each other with regard to the co-functional network, and we have what we have the cusp protein. Is highly this cusp and this cusp and this cusp is highly interacting with each other through um, other genes, and also this has um, disease resistant protein, disease resistance protein, and 
Where is it? Hmm. And it has Prague a lot, Prague a lot sensitive one. I, I can show you what is that. Prague. Okay, FS1. No, 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 no. FS. Fragella. Oh. FS1, Fra. Right? Prague Lash. I was thinking that plug FRS is Prague Lash something. Ah, let me click it. Ah, this is not good. Yeah. Um, mm -mm. Ah, so, but this is not the disease resistant protein. I was thinking that this is disease resistant protein, but it was not. It's unpointed. Anyway, 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 we have this network and we have this network. Actually, this network, these two network is deeper each other with regard to the, the concept. So this concept is um, upstream conservation, upstream conservation, and this upstream conservation will give us certain co-expression, I was assumed, but currently we don't have um, co-expression network of rubber tree. So it is very hard to uh, determine what is uh, actually meaningful. I hope there is some kind of nah. no, 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 UCC, ELP, UGT. UGT, UGT, glycosyl transferase, glycosyl transferase, glycosyl transferase, and here methyl transferase. MRL7, MRL7. Okay. So now, actually, we need to draw the figure like this. And we already have this, um, this get promoter function. So we can use this get promoter function. For it, and how many do we have in 45, right? 45. And then I will copy this. I will copy this one, and maybe we will make a five. And this is the max click, but what we have here is member 17. Member 17 will go to here. Okay, member 17. Seven, four. Member 17 has 40, 45 um, genes, so I don't want to draw everything. I will draw just top five. Number 17. Mm -hmm. 
What happening? What is happening? Tight, tilting. Uh, uh, uh. I'm thinking that we made certain enter. Oh, here. So let me change uh, this one into deeper one. Okay. Um, this is the original one for the network. And I will change this for the plot. For the plot, I will use this one. Okay, good. Okay, the situation of the promoter looks similar to each other. So maybe we can simplify our results. Let me simplify the results. Okay, so I don't want add the nodes if length of list nodes are higher than Mm, five. Then we will draw. Think, think. Higher than five, then we will draw. Then it will give me in this way, but I don't know why it truncated. Then let me tight layout. Tight layout. No. It's still um, a bigger size. Mm -mm. Okay, I will correct the code. I'm correcting the code. And I was thinking that um, this is not right because it truncates everything. Um, but the problem was that I draw all G, so I need to make sub G, sub G sub grab, and all nodes, right? So I will change everything, and the position also should be changed in with regard to the G sub. This is good. So actually, I change it the color scheme rainbow. I prefer to have rainbow here. Let me change this three. Okay. So okay. So now we have um, the figure which is very pretty right yeah 10 and 15 ah no 10 to 15 this is better and we can save it. Let me save plot, save pig network, Java tree network, network two, right? Java tree network two, 
and we are making network colored ng and tpi 300 bitbox tight no inches And now we have this figure. Okay. So we are saving this figure. And the figure name is Network Colored. Where is the file? Here. We have the file. Copy. C drive and I plant and um, so we are changing the figure last time we made I will delete this one and I will paste I will paste new one here and this will be the overview of our network right this must be the overview and we also have the detailed network member 17 right so this is the other one and I'm thinking that I will change a bit the position so I want to change the position like this I don't like the this figure because it looks very dense and then maybe I will draw I will draw the network edges like this in this way. edges plus alpha okay nothing is happening ah okay i didn't draw a node yet Label nodes.
no driver edges. Okay. Now we are having this network and many drivers and maybe if if by you by you contain uncharacterized in uncharacterized in by you then I don't want to label it. Then it must be better. By you. Okay, then we can see that in more visually. And I think we can increase the node size. Mm. So we can change. Hold on. So we have this G sub and degree degrees and this is the uh, maybe I use I And bias and list. Okay, this the side degree. I want to pass this information here as a node size. Let me see what happened. Okay. So if the degree is small, then your node size is also small. If the degree is high, then your node size is high. But this is too small, I will multiple, multiply. Multiply 10. Okay, then our nodes with many degree have larger um, size of the node. Cool. And our figure, so our dense, densely associated node is a community represented by red. I will put here the color. Don't need the rainbow. Color red. Good. Very good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And the uh, label. I want to see the size of label. Okay, the label. 
table should font size. There is attribute we can use font size. Font size will be just 10. Okay. What about just eight? Okay, so much better, so much better, 10 to 10. Okay, then network shared member 17. Jibuksa. Um. We have bigger one. Yep. I don't like to have the outside edges. Okay, I changed the I I changed the color scheme. Um, using this one, so network. Uh, I mean plt.style.useggplot so then I am using the style of ggplot so then how it gonna change run this code again then you are because because I, I don't like these out, outlines I hate these outlines so I change it color color scheme of ggplot and ggplot gives us some background which is uh, has a grid mm. I think this is this is much better than um, black outline and where is the so I copy this one and paste so we have a network I have a network which is overview. Then we have another network. Another network. That is 17. Labeled as 17 partition. 17 partition. Okay. Good. This looks weird. This looks weird. Hold on. I will so it usually takes a lot of time to configure everything that actually I like. I change it the size of our figure. Okay, copy and I paste it, paste it. 
Can match exactly. We can match it. Ah, I'm stress. I'm just stress one minute. Okay. Uh, I still do not like it. Hold on. Okay, I made the label a bit bigger, bigger, and we can. Okay. That's so much better. So design slide. So okay. and we have the alignment kind of alignment we have okay so we saved this one this file and paste oh paste it okay Then we can show that our um, network is constructed and the, this one. Wait, this one. So the option. Sun. and maybe we can change the line like this and stress it and maybe we can change the color that is more Now, red and okay, and I give you Okay, change it. Okay, good. Okay. Hey, and B. So and we have to put some description A explain B explain I don't want to do it right now Next week, we will revisit. We will revisit these blocks and what 
kind of sequences are in these blocks and we will uh, list then you, you we, I, I don't need this one and we will um, see much more about sequence rather than these blocks okay see you next week